the stop. The stop is important from two perspectives. From functionality, it protects the dog from injury, as we all know, from flying hooves of heavy livestock or, a injury, or any other normal injury. But the stop is also important in terms of breed type. Both the AKC and the ASCA standard call for a moderate, well-defined stop. So moderate, we have the term moderate here twice, which as we know, means free from exaggeration. This is an example of a moderate stop. It's from the down view looking up, but you can get an idea. And it, it has, it has a, an area that would allow a, a hoof to be deflected well. It's moderate, it's not too tall, it's not too long, et cetera. And it contributes directly to this dog's breed type. You can tell from this head that this dog is an Australian, is an Australian Shepherd. So this I would classify as a correct breed type. There are variations within this. This is just one example. This is an example of a dog that's lacking a stop. You can't tell if it's a Border Collie or an Australian Shepherd. So it's lacking breed type. As well, it's, it's dangerous in a working dog to have a stop like this. It's pretty easy to classify this as... Faulty. The other extreme would be an overly steep stop. This is an exaggeration. There's no way, shape, or form that this is moderate. It's not safe. It detracts from breed type. Unfortunately, it's been seen, uh, it is being seen uh, in the breed ring. Both of these uh, examples, this one and this one are seen in the breed ring, unfortunately, and in breeding animals, which is very unfortunate. It should not be rewarded in the breed ring. It detracts seriously from breed type and functionality, which is incredibly important.